awesome. Today, today we are going to react to why cats afraid of water. Okay. end of the Middle Ages, something truly strange started to happen Ooh. in Europe, or stranger than Ooh. usual. People across the this? continent really, truly, honestly believed that they were made of glass. It's known as the glass delusion, and it left its victims completely convinced that even the slightest touch could shatter them like a vase. The strange psychological condition was particularly common among the rich and royal types across Europe. It was so well known that it's even mentioned in medical journals from the 1600s. Just as curious, it seems to have all but vanished by the end of the 1800s. So, what's the deal? Why did so many of the powerful people in Europe believe they were made of glass? And why did the freaky phenomenon disappear so quickly? Truth is, no one really knows how this odd affliction got started, but we've got a pretty good idea why it spread like a virus. One of the first and most infamous people to ever suffer from the glass delusion was none other than King Charles VI of France. The poor king had a psychotic breakdown brought on by schizophrenia that left him confused, frustrated, prone to angry outbursts, and most strangely, believing he was made of glass. Being an all-powerful ruler with a bit of an angry streak, everyone took pains to keep King Charles from shattering. He would lay for hours wrapped in soft blankets and walked around in a cage-like contraption to protect his organs. With one of Europe's kings fully convinced he was made of glass, it didn't take long for the glass delusion to start spreading across Europe's royal courts. There are records of people across Europe who believed they had hearts, feet, hands, heads, or entire skeletons made of glass. Some believed they had butts made of glass and refused to sit down without a pillow. So all of this is super weird, but what caused it? Well, the truth is, experts still aren't exactly certain, but they have a few strong theories. Doctors at the time chalked it up to super severe cases of depression, and there are modern minds who don't entirely disagree. Some see the glass delusion as a way for smart and extremely stressed people, like, say, a ruler of a big country, to express just how scared and fragile they feel in a time when even the most enlightened people weren't super in touch with their emotions. I'm made of glass and will shatter to bits may have been the royal way of saying I'm really, really scared and feel fragile. Other modern-day experts connect it to a much older human fixation, the new and unknown. During King Charles' time, glass was fairly rare, used mostly for stained glass windows and expensive buildings. The fact that it was strange and new might explain the obsession. As humans, we've always been infatuated and skeptical of new tech. Before glass, some people believed they were made of pottery clay, and after glass, there were those who thought they were made of concrete. Even today, we're fascinated with the new and unknown. There are people convinced that radio waves are reading their brains, or computers are spying on their every move. So while the glass delusion might seem funny to us now, we can be just Ooh. as delusional today. That's for sure. Oh, God. Oh, one of the most common foods we eat as kids today are chicken nuggets. Whether it's out of the oven at home. Okay, okay, everybody, that was people made of glass for some reason. So, bye-bye.